Hey guys, Aiden here from Reach Out Reptiles. Are you feeding your snake properly? Let's figure that out. When you go to feed any animal, the first thing you think about is, what should I feed that animal? Now, with snakes, most people keep them on an all-rodent diet, so just mice and rats. But it doesn't necessarily hurt to feed them other things. There's so many different prey items that you can feed to your snakes that aren't just mice and rats. There's pigs, rabbits, guinea pigs, quail, chicken, turkey. Some snakes eat frogs, some snakes eat other snakes. There's so many different things. There's even reptilinks which are pretty cool. The only bad thing about feeding your snake a variety of different prey items is if you have a picky snake, like a hog nose that'll only eat a frog or something and won't take a rodent. In that situation, you don't necessarily want to feed those picky animals different prey. That snake will then decide that they only want to eat that specific prey item and will stop eating rodents for you entirely, which could be bad. But free ticks aren't usually like that, and feeding a large variety of different prey items for them could be very, very beneficial. Feeding different prey items provides mental stimulation for the snakes, it gives them a variety of different nutrients, and gives them better gut content. So overall, it's better to give your snake a variety of different prey items and not just keep them on an all rodent based diet. In the wild? These snakes are eating a variety of different prey items. Sure, one prey item might make most of their diet, but it doesn't make their complete diet. In the wild, retics are usually found in caves full of bats. So you know what the wild retics are eating? They're eating bats. And you know what the bats are eating? They're eating fruit. They're fruit bats. One thing that you could do is gut load the rodents that you're going to be feeding to your snake with fruit before feeding them to give the animal more of the natural nutritions and vitamins that it would get in the wild. Now the next question you might ask yourself is what size prey item should I be giving to my snake? Now usually what you want to do is look at the thickest part of the snake's body and give it a prey item that's a little bit bigger than the thickest part of its body. Let me show you. This snake right here was fed today. You could see the bulge in its body and it's pretty noticeable. Now this snake was fed a day ago. You can still see the bulge in the snake's body, but it's noticeably getting smaller. And just by looking at the snake, you don't notice it until you really point it out. Now this snake was fed two days ago. You don't really see any bulge at all in the snake. You can tell that it's a little bit fat at the end of its body. That's because it's going to poop soon. The food in this snake is fully digested. So two days after feeding this snake, you really shouldn't see a bulge anymore. So should you feed live or frozen thawed? Now, either option is completely fine. I know it's controversial, but snakes in the wild eat live. It's just natural for them. It is more stressful for us and for the rat to feed live, but feeding live does give the snake good mental stimulation. The snake does benefit from that mental st stimulation of hunting its prey every once in a while. And of course, when you do feed live, make sure to monitor the snake and the live rodent in the cage. Because if you leave that live rodent in the cage, there is a chance of it chewing on your snake if your snake doesn't eat it. So, as long as you watch them and monitor them, everything should be fine. Of course, feeding frozen thawed is easier, and most people prefer to do that. I do recommend to new keepers to feed frozen thawed over live. How do you thaw out those frozen thawed rodents? What we do here is we put the rodents in hot water to thaw them out. Once the rodents are thawed out, we will put hot water over them again before we feed them to the snakes, just to make them really, really hot so the snake will eat them. Those snakes are using their heat pits when they're hunting, so you wanna make sure that the rodent is nice and warm so the snake actually takes the food and eats it. You also wanna make sure that the rodent is warmer than you are because you do not want the snake mistaking you 
for food. Make sure you use tongs too, because if you don't use tongs, there's a good chance of the snake mistaking you as food, biting you, and wrapping you, and no one wants that, trust me. So this right here is a good reason as of why you should use tongs when you feed your snakes. This boy has basically stolen these tongs and he won't give them back. I'm glad it wasn't my hands because that would have been bad. To make sure that the rodents are completely thawed out, I usually grab them and squish their bellies to make sure it's actually squishy and not still frozen on the inside of the rodent. It's important to make sure the rodents are completely thawed out because if they're not, then you're gonna end up killing your snake by feeding them frozen food. So you just wanna be thorough about it. And there's multiple different ways to thaw out rodents too. Some people would just leave them out overnight and let them thaw out overnight without putting them in any hot water until they're ready to feed them to the snake. Just please don't put your rodents in the microwave to thaw them out. So how often should you be feeding your snake? Now that depends on your snake's age. For younger snakes that are under a year old, I feed them weekly. They get food every seven days. Now for an older snake that's over a year old, I feed them every 14 days. So every two weeks he gets food. And of course, if you have an animal that is older but skinny, just feed them more often. And if you have an animal that's a little bit overweight, you can feed them less often than two weeks too. Each animal is different. Feeding your snake properly is super important to have a happy, healthy animal. If you wanna check out some more care videos, be sure to check out this video right here. I'm sure you'll enjoy it.